Okay, so this next session is on a strategy for finding factors of any whole number. So let's just go ahead and pick a whole number and we'll pick the number 12. Again, I like 12. So I like to call this method the squeeze method just because we start from one end and the other end and we squeeze into the middle. So when I look for a factors or when I'm finding factors, I look at the number and I automatically think one times uh, the number that I'm dealing with, in this case 12. So I put 1 on one end, because 1 times 1 equals 12, well I know 1 times 12 equals 12, so I put 12 on the other end. And I'm going to slowly make my way to the middle. So next I go with the next number up from 1, which is 2, and I ask myself 2. Can 2 go into 12? So 2 times what goes into 12? I know 2 times 6 goes into 12, so I'll put 6 on the other end. As you can see, I'm slowly making my way to the middle. Next number, 3. Can 3 go into 12? Three th or 3 times what goes in, uh, equals 12? Well, I know 3 times hmm, 4 equals 12. And so I put 4 on the other side. And then I ask myself, 5. Can 5 go into 12? 5 times what equals 12? No, sorry. 6? Yeah, 6 does go into 12. How many times? 2. But as you can see, I already have 6 here, so that tells me I am done. So, I know there's a big gap here, but I could always rewrite it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are the factors of 12. Now, you could also call this the rainbow method. Some people like to call it rainbow because if you do this, if you notice, 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, 3 times 4 equals 12.